terminology of solutions within Bioflex Express refers to creating a playlist that we will publish to our LED sign. In this video, I'll cover creating a new solution, adding pages or slides to that solution, and adding content to the page. So let's jump right in. When solutions is selected, right here with this blue text, you will see a list of solutions you have built. To create a new one, click New. The solution information window will appear where you can name it, change the parameters of the resolution, and in this one I'll set the width to be 192 and the height to be 190, or 96, excuse me. And then you can change any remarks or just comments regarding that. And this, I'll just go ahead and click OK then. And you'll see it appear in the back, and this little window will pop up where we can start building our solution. I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, window bigger. First thing you're going to want to do when you get in here is you want to make sure that you adjust the size of the window because it will be set as pixel to pixel with your computer. So all you got to do is just click the little plus button and you'll make the little window a little bigger here so we can see it better. So what we'll do next is uh, add some pages in here. Right now we just have one page. You can click top left hand corner is the page settings. You can go ahead and click add a couple. Um, I'll add about four of them right now and we'll add content. But you can copy, you can delete, you can also make them, you know, change the size or change the order. What do you want it? Something to be the top, down, you can just reorder them. Then we'll cover uh, actually adding content here. So you have 11 options to add content. We have text, we have images, we have videos, we have GIF files, we have a digital clock, an analog clock, an office file, so like a slide from a PowerPoint, real-time media if you have a temperature probe connected to your card, real-time, or excuse me, just uh, internet weather, which will actually pull from your closest big city to the internet, RSS feed, or a container which can cover the previous 10. So let's go ahead and add some text to our first slide. Click text. So what we want to do is we want to kind of change where we want this to be. So you can change whether you want to move that layer up, down, the background, or top. You know, you can also change the uh, the fill. So we'll make it all the full width, and you can also change the alignment too if you want it smaller than just the full fill. On the right hand side, we have our widget properties area is just saying where you want the x and y coordinates to start and how big you want it to be. Basic properties. This is where you change your text box. You want to make sure you change the text within this little box right here. So we'll just change where we want it to start. Um, let's also go ahead and change the font just to be bigger. Let's go ahead and change it to 22 and then let's say welcome. And how about we change the text color to be white. And then apply. There we go. And then why don't we make it um, bold as well? Select in there and bold. There we go. All right, we got our welcome. So down here, we can actually change how we want this to appear. Do we want it to scroll across and how fast we want it to scroll? And uh, or do we want to just have it appear? We can have it with no transition, so it just appears. Or we can make um, do a random transition, or you can choose from one of these options below. For this example, I'll just keep it no transition. There are other settings. So, for example, how long do you want this to be? Uh, we right now we have it set as five. You can always go up here to your settings, and you can change the default how long you want your uh, content to last. What's the default to be? But you can always change that right here within, and you can also change the background color if you want to put a background color. Page properties refers to how many times you want this to play. We're just going to say it's one, but you can have it two, three, four, how many times you want it to play within that page. For the next page, let's go ahead and add some uh, an image. Let's go ahead and click this little image. Then we'll go ahead and select whatever image we want. And there it is. Um, within widget properties, you can add a transition um, and change the duration of how long you want it to be, just like we did with text. For the next one, let's go ahead and add a clock. Um, so I'm going to click on that, the little digital clock. 
let's make it full width within here you can change some settings obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to select your time zone so I'll go ahead and select that I am in um, central time zone there you can also check what you want to appear so if you don't want the day of the week to appear you just remove that or have it added in there you can change the date format and time format um, and you can also change the font style as well the last tab we'll cover is this weather option again this weather is going to pull from the biplex server in the internet um, and it's gonna you're gonna start by selecting what city you want it to pull from Again, these cities are from the Biplex server, so you want to find the closest one to you. Um, I'm in Wisconsin, so I'm going to go ahead and select Wisconsin, and I'll find Milwaukee. And there's the information. Let's change it to Fahrenheit. And then we can also go ahead and change what we want to appear. I'm just going to get rid of this, and let's just show the current temperature. We can also remove this label or change that label by going here to Custom Label. And then changing what we want. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Okay. So then just the, the temperature appears and then let's go ahead and make this bigger. How about 30? There you go. And you can obviously change the font style. So we've got four pages in here. Well, that's good for now. So what I'll want to do is I'll go ahead and save. And then once you've saved, the next thing that you'll do is you'll find your slide here, your, your uh, solution and you'll go ahead and click publish and then you'll follow the directions to publish here.